In this video, I will go over the vocabulary you need for the two sections here in chapter 4, 4.2 and 4.6 on patterns and linear functions, and then also formalizing relations and functions. So here are the lists of vocab words, and I'll just kind of briefly go through these. In a relationship between variables, the dependent variable changes in response to the other, and normally we call the dependent variable our y variable because it depends upon, so dependent variable depends upon the independent variable, which we normally call our x value. Now, the x value, the independent, is called our input, so that's what you put into the function. And the values that are dependent are called the outputs of the function. And then it says here, a function is a relationship that pairs each input value with exactly one output value. So that would be a function. My way of remembering this is that your x's, the x values, cannot repeat. Now the next thing says a linear function, so linear meaning line, a line function is a function whose graph is a non-vertical line. We'll talk about why during our notes. And then a relation is a pairing of um, numbers in one set. So normally what we do is we look at all kinds of relationships and then determine if they are a function based on whether the x values repeat or not. Then it says here the set of values for independent variables is called the domain. That's what you put in the function. And then the values that you get out is the range. So essentially what you put in the function is your x and what you get out is your y. Now way to decide if a relationship a represented by a graph is a function. So how you can tell if the x's repeat on a graph visually is something called your vertical line test. Now if the vertical line passes through your function more than once, that means your x values repeat and you not have a function. But again, I'll show you that with picture examples um, in the next few videos. And then the last vocab here says function notation would be when you replace the y of your function with f of x when writing an equation. Now the next thing I wanted to do that I thought would be helpful to talk about functions would be to describe functions this way. So I think we all know or have some idea of what a vending machine is. And the vending machine is a good way of thinking about your function. So let's say you wanna buy a can of Coke and it's in your function. Well, your input, which we call our X value, which is our domain, our domain would be we put into our vending machine money and what we get out is your product like a Coke or pretzels or some kind of snack, which you could pick whatever out you want, you know. Maybe it's a candy bar, but domain is what you put into the function, and then something happens inside the vending machine that is your function, and what you get out is called the range, which would be, um, you know, the y values of an actual function, if it's y equals mx plus b, but your, your input is different than your output and an easy way to think about it is kind of like a vending machine. What you put in is your domain and typically in a vending machine that would be money. Some of them now you can use a credit card but still you have to pay. And then what comes out is your range, your outputs, which would be your snack, Coke, pretzels, candy bar, something like that. 